Okay, good evening everybody. Day 30 of my carnivore diet adventure and I have some news. I have something to report today. Not just your boring, normal, oh my diet was okay today and here's my weight and blah blah blah. Exciting news. I discovered something today. So I went out to lunch with my wife. Well, let's take a step back. So obviously, you know, I've said a few times throughout this that the point of this wasn't to lose weight. The point of this was to help get rid of the the kind of tendonitis -y feelings and the and the arthritis type feelings and the pain that I've had in my knee. And I know that I've mentioned over the past few probably days, maybe the last week or so ish that I've started feeling better and that my knee was feeling a bit better, although it wasn't 100% and everything else. Well, so I went to lunch with my wife today because she was working in town for a change. And we went out to have some lunch and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to have a Coke Zero because it's no calories and it's no big deal. So I'm just going to have one of those, not as a treat, but just for something different. So I had that and I had some just some um, chicken kebab. So whatever that's not important the chicken totally fine but what was different was i had the coke zero by the mid-afternoon my knee was hurting again already and i've noticed this evening that my arthritis -y type feelings and the tendonitis bits are coming back as well i suspect that it's the sweetener that's in the coke zero or it's some chemical that's in the coke zero that's having some sort of a negative effect because literally tonight I've got all that feeling back again um, and I haven't had it for days and I hadn't really, I th I mean, I knew that it wasn't really there like it was before, but I hadn't really realized how much it had gone away until it actually started doing it again this afternoon. So I've actually been really uncomfortable even tonight just sitting around the house. So I suspect that I may have discovered something totally by accident. I wasn't trying to, and I did make a decision, and I've talked about this before, that I didn't want to use sweetener in any of my drinks. I was just going to use sugar because my thought was, again, doing elimination, I'm trying to eliminate all the bad stuff. I just didn't even really think about it today because I'd never really thought that I was reacting to it, but I'd never kind of gone clean and then had any way to test it. So do an elimination, I think, has uncovered something. Totally unscientific, um, but it's the only thing I've done different today that I haven't done on other days. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably wait another week or so, or I'm going to see how long it takes for it to calm down. Like, I don't know if I'll still be like this tomorrow or what, <clears throat> but I will report back tomorrow and let you know how, I, how I'm feeling. And we'll see how long it takes for me to kind of get back to a base if I don't have anything. And then I might try it again just on purpose to see if I get the same results again. So I know that seems slightly foolish, but it seems like I need to test it a couple of times and see if I get the same reaction before I start blaming it on one thing. And maybe I'll also go back and I'll have, um, I went to a German Donner Kebab other kebab places exist. Um, but I'll try that again, but I'll try it with water to see if I get a reaction just from the chicken. I didn't put any of the sauces or anything on it. I literally just had the chicken. So I I wouldn't think that there would be anything on that, that that would be a problem, but it could be. So maybe there's some strange spice or something that they put on it um, that I reacted to. So anyway, that was quite exciting. Um, I mean, exciting in a way. I've never really been too excited to be kind of uncomfortable and in pain. But in this instance, I think it's pretty cool that maybe from doing the elimination bit and then having something unusual and then immediately noticing that there's an impact. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm hoping that 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 proves to be true because it would, for me, that would cement the whole thing with the diet and I'd be like, yeah, okay, it totally works. Not, not that I have a doubt, but I was a little bit curious whether it would work for me. So yeah, 
totally, totally excited about that. That's really kind of energized me and, and is really going to help me focus and make sure that I stay on plan most of the time moving forward. The rest of the stuff, pretty normal. Um, weight was the same three days in a row now, um, which is good, I guess. My sleep score was in the 70s again, but I think also that was... I did toss and turn a little bit last night. Um, I remember more than usual. Oh, and I did ask my wife if my sleep apnea was getting better, and she said yes, that she thought that it was because I wasn't waking her up, which is what used to happen. Um, so that's something as well. Again, anecdotal. Maybe we'll see if it happens again tonight, but I I mean, I feel okay. I don't, other than being sore, I don't, I don't notice any difference, but I'm going to go to bed earlier tonight than I've been going to bed lately and see if I can get, I, I struggle these days to even get seven hours of sleep, much less eight. So it's extremely rare that I can sleep for eight hours, but I'll give it a go and I'll see if I can get at least a good seven hour sleep tonight and see how I feel after that. Other than that, I feel okay. Other than those symptoms sort of coming back. I started also started working on my monthly review of sort of what I've learned and some advice that I have. And after talking to someone else as well, I have an idea for another video that I might do afterwards, which will be extra to all the stuff, to all my daily updates. So I'll continue to do the, the daily updates like this. Then I might do the monthly ones in a, a little more special format. And I'll do maybe, I might do another one as well. So I had an idea of doing one for people who are thinking about going on the diet. Like, how do you need to get yourself ready? What do you need to do before you start the diet? Because I think there's a couple of things that, well, I can think of a couple of things off the top of my head that might be good advice for people who are just starting out. So if you think that would be really interesting, um, let me know and I'll I'll maybe do that one quicker. But I'm just focusing my attention on trying to make a little nicer video for my monthly reviews at the minute. So anyway, now I'm waffling. So I am going to go. But yeah, totally excited to have learned something. And I think that's amazing. So we will crack on. Hopefully over the next couple of days, everything will calm down again. And then next week, I'll have another Coke Zero and we'll see what happens. But until then, everybody hang in there. I hope your diet's going well. And... <clears throat> Sorry, don't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell if you want to get the, the daily updates when they come out as well. But yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe just to let me know you're out there. And also drop a comment down there and let me know how things are going. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.